Okay, uh, I'm back after lunch and uh, some grinding. Uh, I was level 30, now I'm 38. Uh, Chrono and Marl, looks like they've got all their techs now. Uh, I haven't actually used this yet, sounds powerful. Uh, Life 2, that should be good as well. Uh, it doesn't really matter what Ayla has. Yeah, all I would do is just run down here. Uh, there's a fight that pops up here. And then I just run back up, uh, change screen, come back down, fight. Did that over and over again. Uh, shelter. Yeah, so we've got uh, a couple hundred more HP. I guess we're ready to go give him another shot. Hopefully the eight levels uh, is enough. Because I know some of these, uh, like a lot of JRPGs, like level, that's everything. If you're too low level, you can't win. And grinding is a little, uh, that's all you need. But I know some of them are also, like, you could beat them at, like, level one. Uh, they're, they're balanced for that, and grinding doesn't really get you that much more. So, uh, yeah, I'll just have to see. Hopefully this makes it quite a bit easier. Okay, so that was really good, yeah, that was like a thousand or so, I think it was, on each. I guess, probably didn't need to waste it doing it again. Fill everyone up. That's, uh, that's pretty strong, although it does use both characters. See if there's something. Uh... Okay, that's 20 MP. Uh, spin cut. That doesn't really matter if his arms grow back, I can take them out pretty quick. I probably should use lightning too there, maybe. Yeah, he is much easier. Uh, I guess I was maybe a bit underleveled. So I have been, you know, just to keep it more interesting, just trying to skip through. 
And I didn't do any other, like, off-camera leveling or anything, so I, yeah, it's probably a bit low. Alright, so that, yeah, that was much easier. Here getting like the, the mystic something for the guru. Oh, those guys are going to be in trouble if the mountain falls on them. Alright, so we're going back up to the sky place and fighting the queen, I guess. Okay, I gotta go back through here, I guess. 
Uh, anyways, yeah, Elden Ring. Total War, Warhammer 3 next week. Elden Ring a week and a bit after. Uh, yeah, uh, it'll be... There's not that many games that I'm, like, hugely excited for. Like, there's been a lot of game, you know, a lot of games lately where I was like, okay, when it comes out, maybe I'll play it. And, or I just notice, oh, this, this game's out, I guess I'll check it out. But, uh, yeah, these ones I'm actually, like, checking YouTube every day and uh, stuff like that, so. Uh, is anything good in here? I don't need anything. Yeah, I'm actually, like, checking YouTube every day, and, uh, I don't really care about spoilers for Warhammer 3, it's, yeah, that, I don't care at all, but, uh, but I've been watching a lot, a lot of, you know, early playthroughs and stuff like that, uh, getting all the information I can. Yeah, because that's a series where... Yeah, you, it, you really do need to know, like, what's going on. There's, they are kind of bad at just, uh, you know, explaining stuff to you. Like, there'll be a lot of times where it's just something just happens or doesn't happen, and you have no idea what's going on. Uh, it's just, oh, you know, why can't I, uh, you know, recruit this unit? And then, you know, there's some hidden mechanic that, uh, not really hidden, but... You know, if you don't go to the correct spot and, like, read every little bit of, uh, information, you won't know. Oops. Uh, yeah, it helps to know as much as possible. Whereas Elden Ring, I want to go in knowing, like, as little as possible. But, uh, yeah, I still can't help, uh, trying to listen to all the podcasts and stuff about it. Um, this? Nothing really here, I think. Well, I suppose there are, uh, wait, I... Uh, yeah, just for some reason I thought, like, oh, last time I was here I couldn't actually do any of this stuff, but, uh, all right. I guess eventually I should go back through all the times and collect up all the chests that, uh, I can open now. Nothing interesting there, really. Um, I was hoping there'd be one of those chests in here somewhere.
Uh, I guess I just gotta go up to the top. I could have swore there was some of those uh, locked chests around here, but... Uh, maybe, I don't know, the next time there's kind of a break in the, the flow of the story, I may just uh, go around and... Uh, collect all the chests from the different time periods. Assuming you don't get sent around there uh, explicitly to get them. Ah, uh, gonna be a boss fight up here again. I didn't heal after that last boss or something. That's annoying. I was going to wait for them both to get up there so that uh, they could do their uh, aura whirl, but... Uh, not really. Uh, I don't know if it would work because uh, I don't remember whose MP it takes. didn't want to use a whole pile of uh, individual healing items. This looks like it's going to be something. Anyway, yeah, I had I had kind of thought about going through, like, uh, talking about some of the anime I watched uh, this year, because I watch a fair bit of anime, but unfortunately I don't uh, like every year I keep a list of all the games I played that year and like, you know, general thoughts on them and stuff. 
uh, but I don't do that with anime, and I like I do enter them in my anime list, but it doesn't list them by date. There is no way to find out which were the ones I watched this year. All right, so there, uh, the queen is. Getting the Mammon machine powered up uh, down underwater using Janice's uh, powers or whatever. Okay, uh, something went wrong here. Alright, uh, I'm gonna. I think it crashed or something. I'm just gonna stop and fix this and then continue. Oh, okay. Uh, it's back now. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna break and check the recording. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, uh. I don't, yeah, I don't know what, exactly what happened there. The emulator just kind of froze for a second. Uh... Oh, okay. But anyways, uh, everything seems to be fine. So anyways, yeah, the, uh, there was a couple in there I remember uh, watching that were good. Uh, of course, I watched, I don't know, probably more than a dozen, but uh, I don't know, I watched, uh, I watched Planetess again. Uh, that's like my favorite anime. I watch it usually every year or two. Uh, so I watched it through, watched through it again. Uh, yeah, it's just... I don't know, it's by far my favorite. I've watched it so many times, uh, I just never get sick of it, so... Uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's a very good, um, very kind of like realistic sci-fi. Uh, it takes place in like the year 2075. Uh, and humans have like uh, a city on the moon, or a couple cities on the moon. Uh, there's. Uh, there's like, um, you know, a space station, like a, a whole economy kind of in space, um, all that, uh, you know, there's been manned missions to Mars and to various asteroids and stuff, uh, and they're gearing up for like a manned mission to, I think it was to uh, Jupiter. Uh, but, uh, space debris has become a problem. Uh, so the main characters are like on the space debris like cleanup crew uh, from one of the space companies. Uh, and, you know everything is run down and stuff there uh, because it's just there's no money to be made in cleaning up the debris. They're just kind of uh, I'm not sure exactly what the story is with it. It seems to be kind of like maybe there's uh, either they're required by the government to have like a debris cleanup crew. Uh, or it's like they get, you know, some tax break or something, but there's there's some kind of like incentive for them to have it, but it's not really like they're just kind of doing the bare minimum. So they're the debris crew is like understaffed and underpaid, and uh, they've got like just like a, an old junky spaceship to use and stuff like that. Uh, but it's I don't know every every episode is has some new like. You know, thing about space like there's uh 
you know, several characters, they die of cancer or they get cancer or whatever from being in space for so long with the radiation. Uh, there's, there's a Lunarian who's uh, born on the moon. So they're, uh, you know, they're tall and stu stuff from the low gravity, but they can't go to Earth because the, you know, the gravity would uh, like wreck their organs, which aren't used to it. Uh, and there's like, I don't know, there's just all sorts of awesome, like, really cool, kind of uh, well thought out, um, like, sci fi stuff. Uh, it's, and it's very, like, even if you don't like anime normally, it's a very, like, not anime anime. Like, it's it's a lot kind of like Cowboy Bebop or, uh, like, Ghibli or stuff like that, where it's just, it's got none of, like, the, you know, obnoxious, like, screaming, blue haired little girls or whatever. You know, uh, any of that kind of stuff, so, uh, yeah, it's, I highly recommend it. And there's a really good manga, too. I've only read the manga once, but that's just because, uh, I don't know, I, I like the anime a lot better. And it's, you know, it's easier to just kind of, like, watch an anime than just to go through and specifically read the manga again. Uh, although it is, if you have seen one or the other, they're both worth it because they don't follow exactly the same, uh... Yeah, they don't follow the ex exactly the same, uh, timeline. The manga kind of takes place, uh, it starts a while before the... or no, uh... The anime takes place uh, kind of before the manga, and then it it ends kind of near like the middle of the manga. So they don't they don't cover the ex the exact same period. So it's not like you're just getting the same story, but black and white or whatever. So yeah, they're they're both worth it. using him but uh, good just to make sure uh, I also watched uh, Ishizuk Reviewers uh, Interspecies Reviewers which is uh, it was a really kind of hilarious um, fantasy, I guess. Uh, it's not like an isekai or anything, but it is kind of, it is in like a fantasy world, um, kind of like a D&D style fantasy world where they're... okay. That was bad. I thought the red one would absorb fire. Yeah, they take place in this kind of like D&D fantasy world where they're at like peace now. They're, you know, they've got like a central government and all that and a big city and all the races kind of more or less live in harmony. Uh, and uh, the orc party has won the uh, election for the city and uh, as part of that they went and they made uh, prostitution legal. So. Uh, it follows the character, like the main characters. They're like reviewing all the different brothels, uh, and so yeah, every episode has usually like I think two or three different kind of mini stories where they go to a different brothel and they rate like you know the, the fairies or the bird people or whatever. Uh, but it's just one of those things where it really goes into like depth of you know what it's kind of like in a fantasy world and has all kind of. Uh, I don't know, like, interesting uh, thoughts about, like, what exactly it would be like. 
Uh, like there's one where they go to a uh, a golem brothel where uh, it's basically like a make your own or like a character designer like in a video game they get like all the parts and stuff and they joke about like you know spending forever on their character and uh, ending up with something ugly and all that uh, and they end up making all the characters look all their uh, their golems look like this one girl they all know and then uh, I don't know, then there's another one where they go to like a, uh, a salamander place where, I don't know, she's like a dragon girl or whatever, but she's like super hot and they're all just like humans and stuff, so she would just like burn them to death if they touched her, so they're all kind of disappointed and uh, it's, it's just a lot of really, I don't know, kind of neat stuff like that. It's, it, it is of course very like R-rated though, but it's, it's not like a full hentai, like there's nothing uh, shown like that, but yeah, it was, it was really good. Uh, I'm planning to read the manga sometime, but uh, it's not finished yet and I usually like just kind of reading it once it's done. Okay. okay, um, this feels wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm supposed to just go through and, uh, if I'm supposed to be hitting these blue floor things. Okay, so that's that's not triggering, so Okay, I'm pretty sure what I'm supposed to be doing is uh just triggering all those four things once. Next, uh, another one I remember I watched was uh, I hate getting hurt, so I put all my skill points into defense. This is kind of like an an MMO anime. Uh, I normally I normally don't like those. Uh, it's always I don't know. Like instead of having it take place in an actual like fantastic world, you have it take place just in real world, but it's a video game. It just seems kind of. I, I don't know. Uh, I just don't like it, and uh, I don't. It, it also makes it seem kind of like anybody who's played an MMO knows that they're not as like fantastic and stuff as they're always portrayed in these animes. Like they always show them like, oh, you can, they can just do anything, and you know, the main character is super talented and. Uh, you know, beats these high-level characters or whatever, when it's like, nah, it's, it doesn't work like that, you just, you know, MMOs, they're a lot more, you just grind for hours, the, the person who beats everyone is just the, the, you know, the unemployed guy who's playing 20 hours a day, uh, not like the, uh, the main character, who still has, like, a life and everything. Uh, but yeah, uh, I watched this, and I actually fairly, it, was, I, it wasn't like amazing or anything, but I did quite enjoy it, despite the uh, online game setting. I guess partly because it takes place in like a, I don't know if it was like a beta, but 
it is explicitly stated that it's very early and they're still it's still horribly unbalanced and stuff. And the main character, she they're using like these fancy VR headsets where I guess you can, you know, feel what happens in the game. Uh, and she doesn't like getting hurt, so she just puts all of her points into defense and ends up becoming like invincible and kinda like breaking the game. Uh, and then that allows her to like go into, you know, she wanders into some high level place and uh, get some like super powerful items because even the high level bosses can't hurt her. Uh, and it, she just kind of like stumbles her way through the game like that, just one time after another, finding some like, accidentally like finding some edge case where she just breaks the game and becomes super powerful. And it's all. You know, there's scenes with like the developers all worrying and trying to like fix this stuff and uh, rebalance it and stuff like that. So that, I don't know, made it kind of more believable, I guess, with the whole, you know, her actually doing good at the online game, even though she was still like a student who was only playing a couple hours a day and stuff. I've been watching Demon Slayer. Uh, I don't normally watch the shonen fighting anime uh, because I find they tend to just go on forever and ever and they start off really cool and then they just become garbage. And, uh, I don't know, like I watched, uh, I remember the first couple, the first while for Bleach was really good. I remember watching that back when it was airing and then it just kept going and going and going. And, getting more and more convoluted and then I ended up stopping watching it and I felt like, you know, well there was a while where I was like, okay, I gotta keep watching it, you know, I've watched 80 episodes already, I gotta keep watching it and I wasn't really enjoying it and then after that I just kind of felt like it was a waste. Uh, and same thing with Naruto and One Piece, uh, you know, I've watched a whole bunch of them and then kind of regretted it when they just kept going. Uh, also, like Attack on Titan, uh, and a whole bunch of others where they, yeah, they did the same thing. They just kept going. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, so yeah, I wasn't at first really interested in Demon Slayer, but then it is like insanely popular in Japan right now. And one of my friends who doesn't watch anime at all, ever, uh, she watched it because, uh, I don't know, one of her other friends recommended it, and she absolutely loved it. Uh, and so I ended up watching it, and uh, yeah, it is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I've been following it through. Plus, it, uh, apparently it is finished now, so the anime can't be going on for that much longer. Uh, we're not going to be, you know, 500 episodes or anything. Ah, uh, this looks different. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I didn't get the Demon Slayer game. Apparently it's not that great. Uh, if it goes on sale for 15 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever, I'll get it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, plus it's got like the De Nouveau, uh, which I typically, if the game's got De Nouveau, I just, don't buy it until it becomes like ten dollars or whatever, so yeah. At least I think it did. But, 
uh, anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll maybe get that eventually. Uh, it is coming out for Switch, but uh, it's a Switch game, so like the PC version will be $10 eventually. The Switch one is always going to be 60 so... So, I've got a lot of ethers, so I can always heal him. Oh, um, maybe I don't have that many. Should probably buy more. So that's kind of most of the main anime I remember watching. Um, of course, there's probably like a dozen or so more. Uh, I watched uh, Dororo, uh, pretty good. Um, um, Barakamon, okay. Um, I watched the, uh, is it okay to pick up girls in dungeons? I watched the Season 2 and 3, and I think the movie of that, which was pretty good too. Uh, which is kind of like an MMO world, but it's, it's not an MMO, it's just like it's an actual like, fantasy world. Uh, I watched the first like half of Assassination Classroom. It's good, and I intend to watch it. Just when I was watching it, I didn't have all the episodes for some reason. So I got kind of like partway through, and then was like, "Oh, it's done? Or what? Where's okay? I don't have all the episodes." And so then I had to kind of go find them. And it's a couple years old now, so it was a bit difficult to get them. And then uh, by the time I found them all, I'd kind of lost my, my philosophy there of watching it, so yeah, but I do intend to finish it sometime. Oh. Okay, I had thought I had selected that, but I had selected uh, Marl to attack him. And... Kill again. I wonder if I should be switching out. Um... Some of the other characters, because I don't think they're leveling right now. Forty, forty. 40. Oh, okay, they they must get some of the experience. Okay, it's interesting. Frog gets water, uh, but Marl gets ice, even though they're both water elements. I guess that's you know, so they don't have two people both with ice. They can still keep like the four element system.
I wonder, I must be getting pretty close to the end of the game, because I would think I'm going to, I'm guessing I'm going to fight the queen, she's going to release, uh, what's his name, uh, Kronos or whatever, and then, Kronos, ah, Magnus, uh, no, the, yeah, Kronos, the, uh, yeah, the Earth monster. Uh, and then I'll just, like, fly to his place and fight him. Perfect. Shelter. I should probably buy some more next time. actually hitting one of these guys. Oh, I hope this one-shots them. Okay, that was good. The blue guy is going to counterattack, but it should wipe out the other two. other games uh let's see i want to play probably next i'm going to go through mary skelter because i started it and i want to go through it i find if i if i start a game and then i don't play through all of it pretty quickly i end up just never playing it again so uh i want to get through it uh, and i'm playing it in japanese just for uh, practice. That's why I, I specifically imported the Japanese version because uh, if you buy it on the English eShop, it doesn't have Japanese text. So, uh, same with I'm pretty sure it's on PC, but uh, it doesn't have the Japanese text. Uh, as far as other games, um, I got the Hyrule, uh, Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity. I want to go through that sometime, it looks interesting. Uh, I got it for Christmas present. I'd ask for it because it has the Japanese voices and stuff and Japanese text, whereas the original Hyrule Warriors doesn't. Uh, you'd ha I'd have to import it. So, uh, I can always just import it, buy it on Amazon or whatever, uh, but it's, I don't know, I didn't want to be asking specifically for somebody to go and import it for me, so uh, I figured I'd just ask for the one that they can buy here. Although I'm not sure it really matters, it's probably not, uh, that was a bad idea, okay, this is gonna hurt. Okay, it shouldn't kill us anyways. Yeah, it's the, the ultimate magic, so it's magic after all. I thought maybe it wouldn't count. Like, it would just, it's a tech, not a magic or something, but... Okay. At least we're overpowered, though it didn't kill us. Then, uh, let's see. Uh, 
I heard somebody, I, a podcast I listened to, uh, Retro Gaming Roundup, uh, they had mentioned Front Mission, and I got kind of interested in that again, so... Uh, I was thinking sometime I might go through Front Mission, like, on the Super Nintendo. That's one that... It's another one of those games where I've played it several times, but I've never beat it. Like, I go... I get partway through, and then I get stuck, or whatever, or... You know, and then I give up. But I do really like it, and I would like to finish it, and then maybe some of the other ones sometime. of uh, his spell. Yeah, so I wanted to play through it again. Uh, maybe some of the other ones. Oh, that's another thing. I heard from Software is making another Armored Core. Apparently there was a leak or something about that. Uh, the only Armored Core I've played is... I think I played 4 Answer on the PS3. Uh, and it was pretty good. It's very budget and janky, but... Uh, yeah, if they if they make a new one, I'm definitely going to give that a try. I wonder if I should give uh, Chrono Silver Stud, so that uh, his spell only takes 10 and he can just spam it. I would expect if there's going to be a boss, there's going to be a heal up here, so, or a save. I didn't want to waste the ethers, uh, elixir. Okay. I fight one of these earlier. Oh, Are they going to be able to cast that now? Puppy Lightning. Okay, so they're not, uh... Alright, I was worried that they would start just casting that now. Uh, 
five is done for if I don't heal her shortly. Nice if Marl got a heal all ability. It's like the fourth time I've hit them with that. They must be up to 5,000 damage or so. 6,000. I think I, I might have leveled up a bit too much. Lavos, not Kronos. Alright, I'm gonna go heal and save. Scarf. Do I have another gold stud? Or a silver stud? should just yeah, put it on Chrono and then he can just spam that every turn. What's this guy? Melchior, or er, no. Oh, it's just a random thing. So there's there's two Masamunis now. Frog still got one. Where did I find Masamune? Uh, I wish I could remember. This probably would have been a lot better if I had played this all in one go. Pretty sure I'm supposed to lose this one.
He looks like an ohm from uh, Nausicaa. Yeah, we're done for. I really hope this is a scripted loss battle. I guess. Okay, so I thought Magus was maybe that little kid and he grew up and then went through time, but I guess he's just one of their people.
all got vaporized by uh, Lavos. And we're back in 65,000 BC. Are we here? I can see this is where it would be interesting to play through the game uh, using different parties just to see, uh, you know, the different characters talking during the cutscenes. Because, yeah, like I've been using these two and they've been in all the cutscenes, so I'm pretty sure if you used like Luca and Frog or Robo and Isla or whatever, they'd have their own uh, scenes. Right, I guess. There, now we're. Pretty much what we were before. Although, yeah, Frog, uh, they must be get they get the experience, but he doesn't. I don't think he gets the tech points if you aren't in the actual party. Well, he'll get them eventually, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll probably continue on another day. Played for quite a while today. Uh, Alright, I guess that's it for today.